Hello and welcome to the video lecture series brought to you by St. Andrews Institute of Technology and Management. My name is Ravinder. I am an assistant professor with ETCE department and we are discussing the subject called Object Technologies and Programming in Java. And for the last few lectures we are discussing the very basics of Java language. Now we have seen the operators, what kind of operators are there in Java. You need not to remember them because they are going to be used again and again and again in your whole course. They, so they will be remembered uh, by you automatically because they are going to be uh, going to be a repetition of them so much. Uh, so don't try to cram them right now. And uh, we have seen the expressions. Uh, you also don't need to just uh, remember how, what kind of expressions are there because you just have to understand what expressions are. And as without expressions, there will be no uh, syntax or coding inside any language. So you are going to encounter expressions again and again and again. We have also seen the type of data we have or the data types, how we are going to initialize a method, how we are going to initialize a class and what is the main method, what is Java virtual machine. We have already discussed how to initialize a variable that is how to declare and initialize a variable. Okay, so today we are going to see the first conditional statements that is your if else statement and your while statements. So I think you people are more than familiar until now at this uh, particular time of your educational career that uh, you must have encountered if else and while quite a lot uh, that is in your C course and in your C++ course you must have encountered these two. So I'm going to make this lecture quite brief because we have already seen these things. Uh, if uh, you doesn't remember them, just uh, I'm going to revise it them for you and you're going to be comfortable with them for the coming lectures. Okay. So let's move ahead to the IDE. We no, need not to go through the notes for these kind of small topics. We will just see an example of them. For, okay. So let me initialize two variables first. So let's say in, oh sorry. So int that is uh, integer a is equal to 10 I have initialized a variable named as a of type integer with a value 10 okay and then int b is equal to 20 okay and I am not uh, now I am going to start with our if else conditional statement now if else is a conditional statement blocks that is the its basic syntax is if and inside it there will be some condition and then it's block and then else and then it's block there it is or if I do it right like this so I think you have got the point what I am trying to say so there you can write a block of statements and again block of statements okay so the basic syntax is like this if and else block it is a conditional block that is if this condition satisfies that is if this condition turns out to be true then you will go inside the if block that is within these braces and the block of statements that has been written here will be executed okay and the else block will be completely will be completely ignored by your compiler or your runtime not compiler but but by your runtime environment so it will be completely ignored by your runtime environment okay if this condition does not satisfies that is it turns out to be false then in that case we are we will uh, the control is not going to be switched inside this block okay so these blocks of statements will be completely ignored by the runtime and we will proceed inside the else block and these statements will be executed and after the execution we will be out of the if else conditional block so this is how we are going to proceed so everything depends on this condition here now this condition is going to be your 
boolean condition that is the condition must be such that it always it must turns out to be either true or false okay so let's make a condition here we have seen how to write an expression or conditions so what i am trying to say here is uh, let's say if the value of a is greater than 5 and the value of b is less than 20 then something must be done and if not some other thing must be done okay let's go ahead with this so i will try to write like if a is greater than 5 and we have seen a operator that is logical operator and so and and the value of b is let's say less than 25 in this case okay okay so we have completed our conditional statement here this statement says that if the value of a is greater than 5 and the value of b is less than 25 if that is true if this condition is true then you must go or the run time must go inside the if block run the statements and completely ignore the else block if that is not true that is if this is false statement then completely ignore the if block and get inside the else block and execute the statements written there so this is how it goes so let's try to write a statement here so what i'll write is Let me remove this. We'll just print a simple system dot out dot print ln. This is your standard console output function. I will pass a string here. Uh, inside if block. Okay, and the semicolon. Semicolon is must to end the statement. Why it is showing me something? Okay, I misspelled the spelling of print. I think now it is right. Yeah. Okay, and inside the else block, let me write the statement that system dot out dot print ln. I think I again misspelled it. Print ln. Uh, print ln. The ln means next line. Okay, so don't get confused why it is written as not print but print ln. System dot out dot print is uh, is a statement in Java. It also exists, but what is what it will do is it it will try to write uh, the the contents in the same line, or the cursor will not shift to next line. So what is trying to this particular statement will do is it will try to print out or output uh, the contents which has been passed to it uh, to the console and then shift the cursor to the next line. Okay, so I'll write here. else or within else block okay there it is so the condition is if the value of a is greater than 5 and value of b is less than 25 is the if these two statements are true then this complete statement is true because we have applied the and operator then the console will uh, will be printed out with the string called inside if block and if not that is if this condition is false then you will see in the console within else block so let's try to run this particular class and let's head out to console and inside if block so this condition turns out to be true and yes it is because the value of a is actually 10 which is greater than 5 and value of b is 20 which is actually less than 25 what if it has been written here like this that is if the value of a is greater than 5 and value of b is greater than 25 then we will go inside the if block and if not then what what has been uh, statements what are the statements inside the else block will be executed let's see that i will save it again and try to run this and let's head back to the console and there it is within else block so this time this condition turns out to be false okay so i think you have got the point here now what if 
you want to try multiple conditions and you want to do more than two task dependent upon the conditions then we have an option left with us that is multiple if else statements that is called your if else ladder so what you can do here is that is if else and then condition and then it's block okay if else if else if else and there uh, there it is okay i think it's going to be else if not else if else yeah okay right else if and there is no restrictions of using else if you can add as many else if as you want but one thing you must remember that this complete block will always start with if and a condition and must end with else without any condition else will not enclose any condition and all the else if will must have any which must have a conditional statement with it so if must be accompanied with a statement else if must be accompanied with a statement but else will not accompany a conditional statement okay so let's write out the statement here as if a has a value greater than 10 and b has a value less than 21 in that case what we can write here is system dot out dot print print ln so i could write within first else if block so what it says is if this condition is the, now these conditions are different okay if this condition satisfy do this okay and ignore all these if this condition doesn't satisfy check for this condition if this condition satisfy do this ignore all these and all these this is how it is done the condition which satisfies will convey to you or will convey or signifies which block of statements are going to be executed only those blocks of statements will be cons uh, will be executed whose block conditional statement uh, actually turns out to be true and every other block will be uh, ignored okay so let's try to run this first let me adjust so that we will be inside the else if at not if and else just to show you so i've written here that a must be greater than 10 but the value of a is actually equal to 10 so i'll make it 11 and b must be less than 21 and yes it is so i think at this point we should be inside the else if block and not inside the if and not inside the else block so let's run this and it's head to the console and yes within first else if block you can add as many else if blocks as you want it is according to your needs okay so don't hold yourself now single if statements are actually legal but single else statements are not legal single else statements are not legal okay so you can write an if statement and you need not to mention an else statement with it it is perfectly fine but if you write only else statement without accompanying it with any if statement then that is not legal you will have a syntax error with it and uh, same is with the else if block you can have else if block but without if and without else it has no meaning so else if must be accompanied with if and else if can Uh, work alone but else cannot work alone that is without if else cannot work alone so i think you have got the point what is your if else and else if statements and how uh, we are going to deal with it uh, let me show you one last example of a single if statement if it is legal or not 
So I have put here a single if statement and after that let me just put a single statement that is in the main method. So what we'll do here is as you can see this if doesn't have an else if or else block. So this particular statement will be executed if this condition satisfies. Otherwise, your uh, your control flow will work as normal. That is, it will skip this particular st uh, block of statements if that if that condition is not satisfied. So let's try to run this. Let's save it first and try to run this. If this works or not. Now in the main method, it says that that this particular uh, only this particular system dot out dot print in statement has been executed and this one has been completely ignored by your runtime. Why? Because this particular conditional statement is not turns out to be true. It turns out to be false because the value of a is greater than five. Yes, it is because the value of a is 11, but value of B greater than 25 is not true because the value of B is actually 20. And for the and operator, it is must that all the accompanies, accompanying statements or participating statements must turn out to be true for the whole statement to be true. So if I do something like uh, let's say 26 here, now we'll see the change. So I'll run this again. And there it is. First, inside the if block. <coughs> Sorry. So what we have done here is the control will go to the if block, check the conditional statement. It turns out to be true. It will go inside this block, try to run this statement. That is uh, an output statement and uh, inside if block has been printed to the console or outputted to the console, then we'll go outside the if block and the control will flow as normal. And the only statement after this if block is this particular statement. So both of them have been outputted to the console because this particular condition turns out to be true. If this condition is not, then we will not go or the runtime will not go inside the loop, uh, not inside the block. So this is how it will proceed. So single if statements do exist, but single else and single else if do not exist. So keep that thing in mind. I'm going to skip while uh, topic in this particular lecture because it is getting too long and tomorrow we are going to see the while in detail and do while in detail and after that we are going to, uh, to see the for loop then the arrays and after that we are going to start with the actual class and objects. Thank you.